Thank you so much for being here. And we'll back to you guys in the studio. All right, Laura, thank you so much. I am pleased to be joined now by Dr. John Cavadini, the director of the Institute for Church Life and an advisor to the Vatican and to U.S. bishops. In addition to his many publications, accolades, and awards, Dr. Cavadini was also named a member of the Equestrian Order of St. Gregory the Great by Pope Benedict. What an honor. Dr. Cavadini, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Thank you so much. Let's start with this important question. How does the Institute for Church Life engage and enrich the church? Sure. Uh, the Institute for Church Life is an outreach function of the University of Notre Dame, so outreach to the church from the university. And all of our programming, you could say, is kind of like um, training and supporting church leadership or renewing and supporting church leadership. And and the, the context of that really is, is our own day when so many people seem to leave the church and so many young people seem to leave the church and they seem to leave it with so little regret, almost like taking off a shoe. And I wonder why that is. I thought a lot about it. I think that young people, for example, tend to reduce the church to less than the sum of its disputes. And so they they don't have the kind of glue that would help them stay in the church the university can provide it can provide a sense of the intellectual credibility of the church's positions but more even than that it can help it has resources for helping people to see what are the most grand themes the most compelling themes the most beautiful mysteries that the church that the church promotes and that the church teaches these are the things that fill people's imagination. And when pe people's imagination are filled, that's the kind of glue that keeps you in the church, that, that at least would make you leave with regret, but I hope not leave. Um, All right, and, and Dr. Cavadini, it's an energy, it's a passion that you're igniting within that individual. And yes. hopefully that will keep them engaged, mm -hmm. right? Yes, and what our programs do is we, we try to train people to tr to know how to do this for other people. Right. So that we, we have programming all the way from high school students all the way up to, up to the bishops themselves. And our whole idea is to give people the resources and the formation so that they can release the intellectual and the imaginative capital of the church that would help, help lodge, lodge all these beautiful things in people's hearts and hopefully, hopefully help them to stay. Well, it, let's get specific, though, about one of the programs. You sure. have a program called ECHO. What does that stand for? What does it mean? Okay, ECHO, uh, the Greek word catechesis actually comes, well, uh, means ECHO. Mm -hmm. And so it's an echo of your first proclamation or formation. The ECHO program is a program that trains catechetical leaders. So we take young graduates of you know, Notre Dame or, or, other, or other institutions and we give them a formation in Catholic teaching and in pastoral ministry. We give them lots of hands-on experience and we, in, in actual parish experience. And so we hope that they will be people who can train the trainers. There's loads of volunteer catechists in parishes who have a lot of goodwill, but not a lot of knowledge. And we hope that ECHO program puts out graduates who can be directors of religious education in parishes and train those trainers. So it has a multiplier effect. Well, let's talk about other needs of the church today. How is the Institute for Church Life mm -hmm. helping to address it? Basically, um, there are a lot of educational needs in the church, and we, we try to support those. For example, we have an online theological, uh, online, online theological learning program called STEP, and parishes and dioceses can take these courses and use them in their own programming so that we don't replace courses, but we, we, help, we, we help build up the, the church's own programming. <clears throat> There's a big need for, for continuing an education of priests in our church. And we're beginning to work out programming that we hope will bear a lot of fruit in summer workshops for priests who can come uh, and learn. Again, we try to train the trainers. So who are the leader priests in a diocese who can come and learn how to mount continuing educational programs in their own parish and then um, leverage our effect that way. It's really working towards your mission, isn't it? We hope so. Oh, well, I, I hope the best for you and your programs. Thank it's you a so wonderful much. and important, important part of, of Catholic life.